And this segment of America, what's this? Don't you know these are bad for you? <laughs> we recently came across this really cool recycling endeavor, and it involves cigarettes and art, of all things. Don't you know these will stunt your growth? <laughs> Vending machines have been around for a long time. And not that long ago, they were everywhere. Selling everything from coffee, cigarettes, candy and chips, and even these days, vending things like bananas or even ramen soup. Or this guy, hawking night crawlers and fish bait. But it was this guy, Clark Whittington, a photographer from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, who in 1997 saw a new function for these old-style cigarette machines. They had recently been outlawed in the state. Clark refurbished one and began vending his own black and white photos. And now there are about a hundred of these retro art dispensers in the country. There is such a great use of color and hipness to each art mat. Each has its own personality. They can be found in galleries, museums, restaurants, hotel lobbies, and specialty shops. What's on the outside is obvious, super cool, but what's on the inside is like an artful treasure hunt. The machines sell about 30,000 pieces of art a year, utilizing about 300 artists that fill the inventory. Some of the art includes drawings, flip books, earrings, temporary tattoos, and just about anything that would fit the size of a cigarette box shape, like these creative bottle caps. A favorite is Nikki Wheeler from Washington. Her fabric creations are in big demand. She likes seeing the reach of her creations expanding, now even internationally. It's a way for artists to get a wide exposure. Events like First Friday seem the most popular. Most locations supply a $5 token for the art buys. So I had to seek out and find an artomat. And in my quest, I found the only one located in Colorado. And it happened to be located in the Santa Fe Arts District, smack in the middle of Denver. This Artomat is housed at the Access Gallery, and as unique and as special as the Artomat is, its location and the people that serve it turned out to be even more extraordinary. Within these walls, the VSA Colorado's Artworks program supports youth with disabilities that have artistic talent. As I was introduced to some of the artists there by program director Chris Ciani, I was told they also work with artists to develop job skills and opportunities to succeed through their art. The Access Gallery had purchased the Artomat to help promote these young artists. Its executive director, Damon McLeese, fills me in. I was in Washington, D.C., and I saw a Artomat there, and I just thought it was an interesting idea. Kind of stuck in the back of my mind for a while, and... Uh, when we started expanding our job training program, I thought, well, that would be an interesting way to have the kids earn a little bit of extra money by creating the Artomat art. And I called Clark in North Carolina, who runs the entire Artomat program. And we got to talking, and he, he was agreeable to it. Um, we couldn't afford a new, uh, newly revamped machine, but he had this one in Kansas City in the gallery that was going out of business. So we made a deal that I went and got it, brought it back here, he flew in here, tuned it up a little bit, and we've had it for about a year now. The idea is that the kids who are, are young artists will make an addition, we buy it from them, then we turn around and resell it here in the, the, machine, the machine to recoup our cost. So it's um, sometimes some of the first paychecks some of these kids have ever received. Half the machine is filled with artists from the Artworks program, and then rounded out with some prominent artists in Denver. I was fortunate enough to meet a couple of the young talents while on my visit. I like keeping my stuff in the Aramat because I'm going to make a, a little bit of money in because I'm proud of what I'm doing. So I purchased a $5 token to acquire one of AJ's pieces. This one's yours, right? Yeah. 
Here we go. Yay, Look at that. Stop like that. AJ shows no hesitation and talks freely about his original creations. This pen. Back in the 90s, I used to draw these a lot. Uh huh. And then that. for today, I was kind of done with these when I get older. The Artimac gives these young artists a voice and an opportunity to share their vision. Another young artist I met was Jareth. And with another token in hand, I plunked in another chance for a one-of-a-kind piece of art. Are they putting that in there? Can we pull that out? You're never really sure which of the artist's piece is going to fall, but that's half the fun. Jared took the time to explain his ongoing series and shared his portfolio with me. The ones with that background are villains, but the ones in here with the sun out with and the blue, blue yeah. are good people. Oh, good. Oh, there's good and bad. Yeah. Okay. I have a book of characters I'm going to put in the art of man. It's over there. Want to see it? <laughs> All right. Yeah. The keys are... His portfolio is quite extensive. His enthusiasm and his desire to create is very inspiring. And so was Alita, another young artist participating in the Artworks program at Thank Access Gallery. So you have some stuff in here too? Um, yes, I do. I, I work on watercolors. Uh huh. That's what I also have a couple of pieces in the back that are watercolors as well. Um, they're the same. With each artist I meet, the continuing joy of creating is evident, and the chance to share their art is liberating. And have you sold a lot of your stuff out of here? Oh, yes, I have. Well, that must be kind of rewarding. Oh, yeah. Every time you just, it's rewarding. Yeah, to know you're hanging on somebody's wall in their house. Yeah. That's pretty cool. They're all original pieces. And nice. None of them would it, will ever be the same. VSA is an international nonprofit with nearly 5 million people with disabilities participating in its programs. Hey, seek these places like the Access Gallery out in your area and give these young artists a chance to create. Organizations like Artworks provides a variety of support, including studio space, professional mentoring, art supplies, plus the opportunity to connect with the community. Individuals and companies can commission these artists to create murals, original works, and even pet commissions. Thanks for watching this segment. We'll catch you down the road. Hey, do you smell smoke? Check out artomat.org and give a shout out to Clark. You might even find an Artomat in your area.